I started uh, really early going on the bike. I always liked it, uh, but yeah, just for fun with my cousin and my grandpa put us on the bike when we were neither three years old. My first bike was a pink one with uh, four, you know, the two wheels and another two, and I had a tingling <laughs> also. I have a picture when I was like maybe two or three years old on such a big bike, a red bike from uh, I think my cousin and my dad was holding me on it. It was more about the fun, the people, um, yeah, the, the friends I, I met there. I just uh, remember that when I was six, I had to choose a, a sport and I say to my mom that I wanted to do cycling. I joined a, a club in my region and they took me to races and I was immediately amazed by this sport. The feeling of racing was just amazing. And when I jump on the bike and I won the race, I cross the finish line as the first one, I was like, Oh my God, this is what I love. This is this spirit, this is this fighting, and uh, I want to do it in my life. This was amazing. I never truly thought about being a real pro cyclist because um, for a long time, a lot of people told me that it was difficult to live with um, being a pro cyclist. Yeah, we got our race, but we even didn't get our um, own prize ceremony. We didn't get on the podium or something, the girls. Luckily, in the last few years, things went uh, way better. And uh, I think we are moving in the right direction. It was a big step. Uh, and we have more visibility and of course level is increasing uh, super fast. It's still amazing sometimes or unbelievable when, when I take my bike and think, yeah, now I, I'm, I'm doing my work. I just do what I love. I mean, I love cycling. I'm here because I love to race. I love to win. It was never my goal to live with money from cycling, but I'm happy that now I can do it. Girls, women have to, to fight for, for their position in, in sports, in cycling, and yeah, this is what we can be really grateful about, is that they, the women before us, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that they were doing this sport and they were still here and when they, it was not easy for them and they kept fighting and going on and everything improved, not just the riders, also the staff. And yeah, the people didn't, didn't give up, so we are here now, yeah. Sheila Gutierrez, Lizzy Degnan, Dodo Bonzini, Maya Wojtowska, Ina Joko Teutenberg, Maya Nevos. I really looked up to her and I still look up to her and yeah, even more exciting now that I race with her. I think all the, all the cyclists are heroes. So I remember still 2014 when I was staying at the start line from La Corse. It was the first edition of it um, where we kind of were fighting for a Tour de France femme. And this was the first step we did in this direction and Marianne Voss, Katrin Bertin, Emma Pooley these days, they all pushed for that. And then standing finally at the start line, it was a great feeling. And when I was watching uh, the sport, how it evolves, it's just great to see. Yeah. It's a beautiful story, how, how this everything is growing. Yeah, I'm definitely very happy to be a part of his story and very nice feeling to be here where you always want to be. Tour de France is it's, it's huge, it's unique. All these champions, all these races, all this um, epic finish is the biggest bike race of the world. 
it will be a big fight because everybody wants or every team wants this first yellow jersey. Even if you don't have result or whatever, you can still say I yeah, was uh, at this start of this first Tour de France Femme and it's, it's just amazing to, to be here. Everybody, I think every cyclist, dream to be there. Now also every woman, here we are. Yeah, finally we, we have it. We have this race, this epic race. And yeah, I think it means a lot for, for all the, the women cycling, but also for the next generation. You know, if you're watching that some girls that are a few years older than you can do this, it's a dream you can uh, work forward. It will be a good uh, input for a lot of young girls to keep uh, believing they can be here in a few years and they can uh, live out of cycling, finally. I want to tell to young girls that if you want to be good, you just have to believe. Don't take it too serious, but work hard, keep working hard and yeah, enjoy. Enjoy because this is a really hard sport. When you are racing, it's really suffering. When you are training even more, because you are fighting with yourself, no? But uh, I think it's a really beautiful world. I wouldn't change it at all. I have I would do exactly the same thing and would start again, even if it's super hard sport. Because you have to enjoy it and you have to love what you do. Otherwise, you cannot go the extra kilometer or mile to be on top and be successful but it teaches you so much and gives you so much more for life, um, definitely go for it. I would do it again. I really do believe that uh, the Tour de France Femme will have a big impact on women's cycling. It's a big chance, it's a big step forward, a uh, big platform. More people will come to watch and support us in this what we love to do they will just know that women are also cyclists. I think uh, we deserve this for the level of uh, cycling we have been showing in the last few years. The quality of the bunch, the, the riders, like how many are there now who can fight for the victory together and it's, I think it's pretty good and it's super interesting to watch. People love to watch it um, and they really see how exciting the racing is. It's really never boring. Also as a rider, you, you feel that it's, it's never, you almost never have a boring moment in the race. We are less in the team, for example, and I think the, the races are, are more uh, competitive. I think you cannot say now at the start of the Tour de France who will win the, the race. The women just have something in the blue that makes them even sometimes going too crazy and this is something that sometimes on finish line we have not the winner who we expect to be a winner. I think with women cycling there is a way much more surprise. <laughs> when you ask someone who doesn't know a lot about cycling, you ask them which race comes in your mind, then I think you will hear from, from many people it's the Tour de France. I think if we have in the future just a Le Tour de France for both, then we're there. Because if you think on Wimbledon, there is no Wimbledon man, Wimbledon femme, or women. It's just Wimbledon. Everybody knows the women and the men are playing there. Because then it means also it's the same tournament. It's the same price money. So if we manage this step, it's only Tour de France, and there's no femme or woman or anything, and as an add-on, I think then we're there.